know, Hitchens always said that he always wants to be in this position of believing that he never knows enough. He never knows enough in his life. Uh, I don't really understand what sense of fulfillment I would get out of pretending that I knew all I needed to know to have a happy and fulfilled life. I, I don't really understand people who are that way. I understand that life is full of insecurities and I know that religion, uh, one of its functions is that it helps people manage life's little insecurities, but I don't necessarily agree that it helps them manage those insecurities well because it simply tells you to lie to yourself, to express a confidence about things that you haven't yet experienced, that you don't yet know to be true, that you don't yet have all of the information and facts at hand, but you can at least tell yourself it's, it's all in God's hands or it, you, know, you can always slip back to the G word as an all-purpose answer for any mystery that life might be plaguing you with. But to me, that inhibits real learning. And uh, do some people find what they call joy and fulfillment in that? I suppose they do, but I, I wouldn't and I couldn't. I don't see how I could. You know, because what's, what's left to discover then? If you think you know it all, what's left to learn? And then what is the point of tomorrow being another day? You know? And uh, it's always interesting to me when Christians have asked me, and they have asked me this on occasion, it's like, why even get up in the morning if you don't believe in a God. And I'm like, that's why, you know, that's because there's, there is now this whole world of discovery. Um, so, so much more that I don't know and that I'll never know than that I do know, but at least it's always there for me to learn every day of my life until I have no more days. That to me is, is I, I can't imagine a better source of fulfillment than that fact.